Welcome back to Strawman Gaming. That's not how I start these usually, but welcome back to anybody who can play Dark Souls. This is Strawman Gaming. I am your Strawman, and today we are going back into No Man's Wharf. No Man's Wharf, not Fisherman's Wharf, to um, redeem myself after that colossal failure at the end of the last uh, episode. This should be quicker than last time because we're more focused and we can read less of these messages. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, I can't even be salty, because that's entirely my fault. I was being a massive... Yes, yes, shooty, very good. I was being a massive coward, and I paid the price of cowardice, which was, in this case, death. I will still kill most things on the way, though, because I don't want them following me and coming up behind me and ruining my life afresh. But if I don't need to kill it, I will... Probably not bother. And roll, because there's an arrow coming. Go. There's a little shortcut behind this guy that I failed. Okay, I'm going to kill you out of principle now. I wasn't going to. You put this on yourself. You don't stay dead anyway, so it's no big loss to you. And it is a great detriment to me, as it turns out. So, where did I threw myself off this ledge. And I think this is the bonfire. Or maybe the bonfire is in here with the nimble ones, as they were called in the oh-so-helpful message that I failed to heed. I really would like to find a torch, because it does make them much easier to deal with. Well, it might not in there, because it, um, it causes them to cow, and if they get stuck into a corner, like they, if the pathfinding takes them into a corner, then it makes them attack. Goodness. See, I'm just like... I, you, the shield... Using the shield is smart, but not using the shield smartly is dumb. I think that's a fairly... I was going to say eloquent, but there's nothing eloquent about that statement. That's just a, a fairly garbage sentence. Oh. You nearly got me there, buddy. I did not go along here. Did I go in here? Did I just... I think... Yes, this is where Luke Teal was. Who has now gone on another adventure. So I did this, but I didn't. Um, I didn't smash these because I was afraid of coming down here in case I died. Which, in hindsight, feels uh, yeah, real close there. Took a hit. That's fine. One can take hits from time to time. Can I bait out a dog? Come on. Look at their walk cycle when you're any distance away. It looks ridiculous. We saw how well caution went for me last time, so maybe... You, you die in a single hit? Since when? Uh, 
Oh, maybe he got uh, hit with oil, so he was extra vulnerable to my fire sword. This guy is just a real jerk. I hear someone drinking. I think I heard someone drinking, like a really gulpy swallow sound. And not being specious, but that says dwarf to me. So maybe this is where um, Grim, Gurm, Grime is. I think this is the brigand set, if it's not a mimic. Yeah. Brigand Hood and Ting. So that is substantially better in every way. Apart from it looks horrible. What about the shirt? Worse in every way. But it has been upgraded, and that is better, but it's twice the weight. Okay, so we'll go with the hat. Uh, what about the gloves? They are. Give me no poise. I think that's poise. Yep, that is poise. But it's better in every way, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. And the Dranglite leggings are actually pretty solid, so let's continue on with that setup. I've not heard that drinking again, so maybe I maybe I just got overexcited. Who did that? What did you do? Oh. Trade blows. Not even bothered. So I'm not seeing a uh, drinking dwarf, which does make me sad somewhat. He is a merchant. I think he sells um, he sells a big shield that's made of stone. Oh, repair powder. Um, I might use that actually. I've got two. So all that does... I heard the drinking again. Where are you, my friend? Are you in prison? <gasps> there you are. How do I get in? How do... Open this door. It opens from your side. Along. Okay, so we've got to go up and around again. Um, jump. That made me extremely nervous. All right, I'll deal with you before we go for the long boys. I recognise that long boys internet parlance for those weird Russian dogs that have the really long faces, so I don't mean to, uh, don't mean to disparage them through my uh, crude use of pop culture that I barely understand. But these guys are very long. You've got to give them that. But you never call that a short boy. Looks like a... I was going to say a clover field, as if that's uh, what that thing is. I mean, there's probably more than one. I mean, most biological organisms require, you know, more than one to exist. Going well. But you know, that's Dark Souls. Dark Souls Dark Souls goes well until it doesn't. And then it goes extremely poorly. Do I need to Do I need to go in there again? I didn't enjoy it. Wait, I don't need to go in there. This is... Yeah, it's you two guys. My concern is that the long boys will come up behind me. And just completely ruin my life. I think they 
of accurate by now, but sometimes this might not be true, so don't don't give me too much flack if it isn't true. But sometimes there's like a, an area, or like an invisible wall, and when you walk through it, you just aggro everything that you haven't. You can light this. This, uh... Chandelier, I guess. But I don't remember how. Okay. Attempt number two. Slowly, slowly. Catchy monkey! Still haven't got an arrow, sir. And I do not respect that. Okay, so now we have 20,000 souls. Being such a baby about this flight, this f flight, this fight, I'm completely mind flooding myself. But they don't like fire, I believe. Don't press B near an edge. Okay, I've composed myself. That was just a momentary lapse in composure. Come get me, you slut. Okay. I'm sorry I called your friend a slut. That was inappropriate. And we do not shame here, but... I believe in the industry we call that a gaming moment. And that can get you with pretty much anything. Ever more? Looks pretty clear. Although I'm not seeing a bonfire. And the only thing I want to see right now is a bonfire. That's where I went up, so it must be must be down. What what are you? Excuse me? What was that? Is that a plague doctor? That is a new enemy type to me. He's got like claws and a beak. What I, I am not all about that. I didn't realize there was new enemy types. So maybe that, that's always been there. And I've just never remembered, but. Remember I said there was a little point that when you get to it, it aggroes everything before that point? I feel this is that point. But maybe I'm just being paranoid. Seems fine. Oh, no, no, no. I remember. It's when you go in the water to get that item. He comes and gets you. That's it. I feel much better now. Nothing's going to go wrong. Dinky boy. You're here. I can hear you. <sighs> Nothing shall come between me and... G g g g germ. Hello. Who are you? I, Gavlan. Gav Who's Gurm? Gavlan what have I been Will. chatting about? Maybe that's his species? Maybe he's, maybe he's not a dwarf. He's quite tall for a dwarf, if he's a dwarf. Or maybe I'm quite short, but he's pretty... Look at the size of him. What's he wearing? He appears to be wearing rocks stitched together. That's pretty dwarfy to me. Although they are pretty good with metal. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh... No. Nope. Poison moss is useful when you're dealing with a lot of poison. I think these merchants, the more you buy, the more they have. Oh, I can sell. What am I never going to use? Never going to use the worst broadsword. Use broken boys. Uh, no, people will get annoyed about me selling the dagger. Shield.
anything I've got duplicates of, or that is just garbage. So the hollow infantry stuff, that can be refarmed. Um, this is such a small soul gain, but it's... What's that? Oh, leather armor. Looks quite good. Well, certainly there it does. I feel like that'd be quite a dashing set. Inventory helm can go. Brigand, brigand, brigand. Imported is just, I think, gear you all characters start with. Not the stuff they're wearing at the start, but they all have that in the inventory. And I think it's quite heavy and not very good. Sorry, his drinking's making me need a drink, so I'm going to take a, a hit from my bottle bong. There we go. Ooh. Oh, they're my rings. I was like, oh, he's got some good stuff here. Uh, yeah, I don't want to say any of that. It's just talk. Gavlan will. Gavlan wants what? With Gavlan. Gavlan will. Okay, so With you're Gavlan, not. You will. Ooh. I hope they haven't got rid of the second bonfire, and I haven't imagined it. It would be, I'd really appreciate it. I feel like you should have an item, sir. But. Oh, so you just aggro straight away now. I can respect that. I'm kind of worried the boss we're coming against, the Flexile Sentry, standing in, like, um, knee to waist high water. So I worry my Fire Sword is going to be particularly ineffective against him. But we've got a lot of souls, so we might go back and we might level up our, um, Great Sword. I think it was called. Great Sword, Ultra Sword. The, the Giant Sword we got. I think it's great sword. Oh, okay, I think they have got rid of the bonfire, but ah uh, no no no, there's ambushy boys here. So you're waiting to ambush in the water. Stop locking on. Your shield back out. There we go. I think that's everyone, unless he comes back to life. Which of course he does. Is this one behind here? No, I'm gonna kick this then. So that means you can skip all of that when we're running back. How do we get that item? I will endeavour to find out shortly. I think you can jump in this water because there's a ramp. But. I hope this is worth it. Mm. I wouldn't say it's explicitly not worth it, but it's not that great. Oh yes, this is some this guy up here, just above my head, some sort of wizard, and he's very rude about me being stupid. But to be fair, nobody asked you. It says there's at least a dim light or something. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, I skipped past the bit where he insulted me by mistake. Yeah, magic impaired. Rude. I see light. It remains, but it dim. remains dim. Jerk. I am Kirillik, and I've no interest in the magic in here. I wonder if I kill him, do I just get whatever he's holding? Is this, is this a thing? I want to light that, but I do not remember how or where. Good, let's check out the boat. How are we doing for. Ooh, two esters. It's not the best.
I want the iron. Well, it's Nessa's flask shard. What if it's a torch? It's already lit. I mean, what if it's hot trash? I have remembered how to light this area. But it requires a Faris Lockstone. I don't think it gives me any real benefit other than making the uh, the long boys more um, less aggressive, I think. Here we go. Oh, small, smooth, and silky stone. Three of them. We can give them to the crows, and uh, they will reward us in some way. So, of course, I'm going to run straight to the boss and attempt to kill it. <laughs> Why go that close to the edge uh, when I've got 20, almost 23,000 souls sitting in my inventory? Because that is the smart thing to do. I see you back there. It's good, because he just comes up behind you and ambushes you. When you get on the boat, I think the crew come back to life. Um, I remember getting overwhelmed here before. Right, so only he seems to be tracking me, so that's good. Seems a rel relatively safe place. I'm back relatively safe, I mean, extremely dangerous. But. Okay, let's get on deck. Oh, it's one of you boys. Oh, I haven't come up with a witty name for it. And by witty, I mean, you know, aping pop culture desperately trying to appeal to the kids. Um, but I haven't named you yet. Please die. You did not die. I cannot sail the ship. Which, if I'm honest, I knew... Because I kind of I've got the boss tension building up inside me, but again that might be back pressure from the cheese fest earlier. Who knows? At least the run back doesn't seem that bad. If I die here, I think you want to keep him on the. Um side that has maces? Okay, you seem pretty weak. Okay, so they both do bleed, but the maces seem slower. This might be a time to actually start avoiding damage rather than trying to absorb it. Because when you absorb damage with a shield, you lose stamina, so you you limit your ability to counterattack. Quite profound. Excuse, excuse me, sir. No, 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 stop this. I got greedy, I will admit that. 
but I saw the kill and I took it. And I'm alive. So my um, my perfect streak against the Flexile Sentry remains intact. The room also fills with water gradually, like when I came in it was ankle deep, now it's waist deep, so you are slower and less nimble, so it makes you more likely to take damage. So you are incentivized to kill it quickly. I think that went quite well. I didn't die, so that's always a positive. The, yeah, see, this is funny. This chest used to be over here, and you can tell that because they haven't um, recalculated the lighting engine. So the shadow that the chest used to cast from the light over there is still here. But they moved it because you'd, people would come up the stairs, see this thing, they ooh, a thing! Use it, and then they would miss what's inside it, which I believe is a pyromancy glove. Pyromancy flame, and a spell. Pyromancy is good because it does not require, well, it doesn't, it doesn't require stat investment. So, influence of faith and intelligence on fire. So, I said before, it scales with both, but it scales with the lowest one. So, if you've got 50 faith and one intelligence, your bonus is one. So, you really want 25 faith, 25 intelligence, which, you know, is incentivizes a more quality build, but um, we might do that because I was thinking about maybe getting some spells because they are quite good for utility. Um, I think we're finished here. I think we killed everything, so let's use this. And you should, should be no surprise where this is taking us. Um, especially because there was that big dude on the deck. But it's taking us to a different part of that area. So um, I'm less afraid of it, if I'm honest. I don't remember those sentries being that hard. It's still bugging me. Were they called sentries? I don't know. Losing it somewhat... <laughs> Very nice, apart from the water, kind of repeats a bit too suddenly. Well, too frequent. Why so many notes? Chest, therefore, I failed. I did it. What did you do? Hurrah for dark? Skeleton, by the way, give it up. Don't go up. Well, which is it, floor? Give it up or don't give it up? Remember what Rick Astley said? I feel bad, like, ruining mealtime. I forgive myself very easily, but I'd be annoyed if someone came in and murdered me and I was trying to sit quietly on a bench being, you know, pensive. Try tongue and then joy. What is it with you guys and tongues and butts? I know millennials have this fascination, but damn. How do we get that? I have a theory. But I'd like to find a bonfire before, before trying it. A U door? Ooh, what's happened to the textures there? Something not good. See, this one looks better. Wait, doesn't the floor collapse in one of these or something? Soul of a Proud Knight, that's a decent soul packet. We're gonna get some levels, boys. And girl. Shout out to my wife for watching these. And recognizing that my core demographic is likely gonna be 18 to 35 year old males. I like that the ghost did the same thing, like, oh, a dead person. Could they be more dead, though? Wait, there is a... Is this where the floor collapses? Common fruit. Please. Please. Yes! Oh, 
chill and relax. Exile holding set. I'm just going to come out of this for just a second and go and peep something. Okay, good. I was worried this was the uh, the run-up to the Lost Sinner. And I was not emotionally prepared for that onslaught. So, let's go back to Majula. We've just hit 30 minutes, so we're doing good time. Back to Majula, and we'll level up that great sword a bit. And we might have to level up our um, equipment load, whatever stat that's tied to. Endurance or something, I don't know. Man. The Shambling Mess sells Titanite, I believe. I believe so, falsely. I can't bring myself, it's so expensive. But I, they do become more and more important, I think. But you know, she's always here, I can always walk back. It's not a big deal. What can you do for me, son? Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, he's selling me this. These maces, I know, are very good against the sentinels. Uh, Speedrunners buy two of these and power stance them. I'm probably not going to do that. So how many do you need? You need one, two, three. I will have ten. Thank you. Reinforce weapon. Here we go. Okay, so I now have a level... What's that? Dranglet? When did I get this? Oh, it's Twinkling Titanite. Um... So I need... 28 strength, excuse me? I've made a mistake. There. Seek, seek, lest. Get some, like, new... chat. Heh. Well. Needs must. And then we're gonna crack into these. So that's the Proud Knight. So that's oh, it's only three thousand. I apologise. Oh no, this is the Proud Knight, which is going to be worth even less. But there's three of them, so don't be fooled. It's only worth two thousand. Seek, seek, last. I can't tell you how unhappy this makes me. But I want that sword, so... And, you know, start investment isn't a bad thing in the long run. Um, I think you burn... What does this do? Burn this. Some force, a strength and justice flask. That's good. Was there something else I wanted to do here? I feel like there was. Well, I don't remember, so let's get on with it. Macduff's workshop, the tower apart. The tower apart? Oh, that's the start. Okay. Got any rhyming slang in it. Um, so we're gonna walk back to the lost Bastille. We will rest. And we'll end the video there. If you liked the video, click that like button and tell me why you liked it down below in the comments. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button and tell me why and what I can do to improve it. If uh, you enjoyed the content, I make new content every day. So hit that subscribe button, there'll be more tomorrow. And that is when I will see you. This has been Storman Gaming. I am your Storman. I will see you tomorrow.